You're not afraid of the dark, are you? Master Juba, a.k.a. William Henry Lane, was the first African-American to perform in front of an all-white audience during the 1840s. He often toured with white minstrel shows. It was a combination of the Irish jig and the African steps created by the African slaves, such as the walk-around. This style of dance would eventually influence American dance styles such as jazz, step dancing, and tap. John William Supplet a.k.a. John W. Bubbles, was a vaudeville performer who performed in the duo group Buck and Bubbles. He is known as the father of rhythm tap, including percussive heel drops in his tap style. He gave lessons to Fred Astaire, starred in many films in Hollywood, including Varsity Show and Cabin in the Sky. Bill Bojangles Robinson, known for his emphasized clean phases and to taps, started in the first half of the 20th century during minstrel shows, vaudeville, Broadway, recording, Hollywood, radio, and television. He brought it up on his toes, upright and swinging. His signature routine was the stair dance, in which he would tap up and down a set of stairs and a complex sequence of steps he mentored the Nicholas Brothers, Fred Astaire, and Sammy Davis Jr. Nicholas Brothers, a team of dancing brothers, was a duo who performed acrobatic technique known as flash dancing. Considered the greatest tap dancers of their day, they also performed in musicals with Cab Calloway, featured in a movie, Stormy Weather. They grew up around vaudeville and became stars during the Harlem Renaissance. Clark Brothers, considered the last brother acts of the tap dancing golden age, these two gospel singers from Philadelphia had their first performance in the Cotton Club in Harlem at the ages of 15 and 17. Frank Sinatra moved them to Britain after the war, and they performed in front of King George VI, where they became favorites in the Working Men's Club. Berry Brothers was exotic and known for their soft shoe dance as a trio, they remained in the business for over 30 years. They too began performing vaudeville, cotton club, and in London. Will Gaines was a master hoofer tap dance legend from Detroit who settled in the UK and influenced the UK jazz tap scenes, including the London Tap Jam. He performed with such greats as Count Basie, Duke Ellington, and Billie Holiday in his prime. Sammy Davis Jr. Known for his impressions, singing, and comedy, Mr. Davis was especially known for his dancing. As an overnight sensation, he began his career in 1933 as a child doing vaudeville. And in 1960, he joined the legendary group, the Rat Pack. Buster Brown was a veteran tab dancer, choreographer, and master teacher. Known to be a smooth dancer, he was a solo artist who toured with Cab Calloway, Count Basie, and the legendary Dizzy Gillespie. Bunny Briggs. This tap dancer performed with the Duke Ellington Orchestra. Nominated for the Tony Award for his Broadway work, 
He also appeared in the 1989 movie Tap. Mr. Howard Sandman Sims began his career in vaudeville. His style of dancing was performing in a wooden box made of his own construction. He acquired a nickname from sand being sprinkled on the box to alter and amplify the sound. James Titus Godbolt, his professional name, Jimmy Slide, mixed his style of dance with jazz and some of his action tricks were similar to the Nicholas Brothers. They both used slides as their trademarks. He influenced Savion Glover. Gregory Hines, dancer, actor, singer, and choreographer. Coming out of New York, he performed with his brother Maurice. He performed on Broadway and was an avid improviser. In 1989, he created Gregory Hines Tap Dance in America. He idolized Sammy Davis Jr. and mentored Savion Glover. And of course, Savion Glover. This student of Gregory Hines describes his style of tap as young and funk. He stated that funk is anything that gets in one's head with the rhythm. He starts his pieces with old school moves from famous tappers and works into his own style. Noted for having a heavy foot, he dances hard and loud in every step. <laughs> 